Hello and welcome. My name is Stacia and welcome to my series that I call The 12 Movies of Christmas. We are on episode 11 of the series and today's movie is the 1947 classic Miracle on 34th Street. And this movie asks the question, is Santa Claus real? This movie stars Maureen O'Hara as Doris Walker, John Payne as Fred Gailey, Natalie Wood as Susan Walker, and Edmund Gwynn as Kris Kringle. The story is about a divorced New York mother who works at Macy's, and she hires a sweet old man to play Santa Claus in Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. He also is Santa Claus in their store on 34th Street in New York City. She is taken aback to learn that he actually believes that he is Santa Claus. And when his sanity is questioned, a lawyer defends him in court and sets out to prove that he is the genuine article. Edmund Gwynn actually won an Oscar for his portrayal as Santa Claus in this movie. And when he won in his acceptance speech, he said, now I know there is a Santa Claus. And he remains the only person to ever win an Oscar for portraying Santa Claus. Also, unbeknownst to most parade watchers, in 1946 when this movie was being filmed, Edmund Gwynn actually did play Santa Claus in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade that year. The cast and crew were unanimous about their feelings about Edmund Gwynn. They loved him. Alan Greenman, who portrayed Alfred, called him a dear, dear man. Robert Hyatt, who portrayed Tommy Mara Jr. said in a 2001 interview, he was a really nice guy, always happy, always smiling, and he had this little twinkle in his eye. And Maureen O'Hara added, by the time we were halfway through the shoot, we all believed Edmund was really Santa Claus. I have never seen an actor more naturally suited for a role. So it seems he really was Santa Claus. Some trivia about this movie is, the film received a B rating from the Legion of Decency. They found it morally objectable because Maureen O'Hara's character was divorced. The film won three out of the four Academy Awards it was nominated for. It lost the category of Best Picture and the film that won that year was Gentleman's Agreement. Despite the fact that the movie is set during Christmas time, the studio head, Daryl F. Zanuck, insisted the movie come out in May, saying that movies perform better in summer. And so the promotion team scrambled and tried to figure out ways to promote the movie while keeping it a secret that the movie is a Christmas movie. And the movie ended up being a big hit and it actually made back four times its budget. This movie is by far my favorite Christmas movie. I give it a five out of five stars and after watching it, I guarantee you will believe there is a Santa Claus. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And again, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. Again, my name is Stacia and see you next time on Christmas Day for the final episode of the 12 Movies of Christmas.